whatsoever. I uh, just had his pure talent. Plus, I was a late starter. I didn't even start playing music seriously until I was 17. So everybody, you know, read music. Well, Sugar didn't, Greg didn't, and I didn't, but the horn players did. And Sugar had uh, had a good time. He was beautiful playing chords. And so I used to ask him about chords, the difference between majors and minors, augments and diminishes. And he would give me, you know, he, he, he'd give me basic stuff. Then I grew that. I wanted to know I was greedy, man. I just wanted to know, no. You know, it dawned on me. I said, you know what, man? Piano players is what we need because pianos had the whole music spectrum. They had the bass, they had the chord, and they had the melody. Plus, they played to the rhythm, so they got the complete package. Uh, so I, I started saying, man, I need a keyboard player. And it wasn't until after we got Dutch Robinson in the band. And he heard me talk. He came to me one day. He said, Marshall, man, he said, man, I met this keyboard player, man. Uh, I sure would like to see you meet him. I said, yeah, I'd love to meet him. So Dutch arranged for me and Junior to meet. When I met him, you know, I drilled him, man. Play me some jazz. Play me some blues. Play me some country. And he, he excelled in everything. So I went back to the band, man. I got this keyboard player. I like the band, you know. And the band heard, knew I needed, I wanted a keyboard player. So they didn't give me no static. They said, well, let's, let's hear it. So we, we listened to Junior over at the school one day. And everybody said, okay, well, let's bring him in the band. What school was it? Then, uh, uh, Roosevelt. Okay. Yeah. And he came in the band and, and uh, well, he stayed with me because we were tearing up in the rooms then. This is before we had it. What you mean y'all was tearing up? And, uh, well, the pairs. We had two to a room. Okay, uh-huh. When we were traveling. And we only got one to a room when we started making the hits. So we first had the own private room, man. What, what kind of person was he? What, what kind of person did he appear to be at that time to you? Jimmy was a uh, um, soft-spoken, quiet, recluse kind of guy. But he was like a spoiled kid. He had to have his way. And, uh, you know, uh, we already had big egos in the band. You know, musicians have tremendous egos. And when nobody trying to hear that little craziness Junie was going through, trying to find, trying to fit in. And a couple of times, I was going to jump on Junie. Who did? But he'd run behind. I said, a couple of times, Muggs, Muggs wanted to jump on him. And uh, he'd run behind Greg, because Greg was the leader at the time. And Greg would always come up with some story to keep guys from wanting to jump on Junie. Can you remember any particular instance? Uh, Can you remember any particular time? He, he, uh, he would say shit like, uh, he would holler at people. For missing notes or what? Uh, for, uh, yeah, for missing notes and little stick off. We started, you know, everybody gravitated around the keyboard when we wanted to learn a song. And uh, with nobody having their instrument but Junie. And we would put songs together through him sitting at the keyboard. Well, here's your part. And he used to bust a meal out. Man, that, that's, don't you know your damn part by now? Blah, blah, blah. And was he much younger than y'all? Well, yeah, he was uh, younger than us by at least 10 years. Uh, go ahead with and, uh, we had already we had already been out there. You know... We were a band, we were a, a dance band, and we had like a jazz crusader type sound. So he'd be hollering at y'all about missing your parts, and he about 10 years younger than y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And people, you know, they would get an attitude, you know, well, he didn't tell me what to do. He just got in the band, you know. Motherfucker, you ain't got to holler at me and this and that. <laughs> so Greg would have to run in between them a lot of the time, man. No, leave him alone, man. He's just a kid. And I always to sit and talk to Junior because we'd be in the same room together. And I said, man, you don't need to be screaming out on these boys, man. You know, they, you know, they're trying to do the part, but they ain't expecting because we never hollered at each other before Junior got in the van. Uh huh. Excuse me. So, but, uh, yeah, Junior. Uh, it was real nitpicky. His personality just didn't fit in the beginning. And I imagine it was because of uh, him being new, you know, to a guy that had been working on the stage for some years. By him coming in there, Johnny come lately, putting demands on people like everybody was stupid but him. Didn't set too well. Uh huh. But how about them women on the road with Junie being ten years younger than y'all? How'd that work out? He was a little shy of women at first. He got a little, got his willy whacked a couple times. And he was all right. I remember you uh, mentioned one time about you be freaking in the room and uh, he be in there too. Yeah, I had me a kit, man. I had me. When we moved into a whole air hotel, that's when back in the days when everybody had, when black lights and uh, posters was the thing. I would take these black light pictures all on the walls and I would uh, turn my, my room into a little den light. And me and Junie would have women coming through there.